Hey, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. So please um, like and subscribe, and let's get on with it. Um, I am just gonna make this video a little bit shorter than my last one um, because it was a little bit on the long side. So um, this time I kind of broke everything in categories to get it started, and I'm gonna start off with seasonal because I just think that's fun. Um, you know, we had uh, Memorial Day, and then we got Fourth of July, and Labor Day is coming up. And as you can see, I've got the patriotic kind of theme going on, and it just, like I said, it keeps going and it keeps growing. So I picked up a few um, items that you know I'll use. I, I put all my seasonal things in um, bins, and I keep them at year after year after year until I decide to donate them or give them away or whatever. But um, I do keep everything that I buy and I reuse it almost every year. I just do it in a different um, theme and maybe move some things around, but I absolutely love seasonal stuff. I love decorating my house with seasonal things. And so let's get started. So the first thing I wanna say that I had actually picked up these, but I only picked up a few of them. Um, and I went back cause I said, you know what? I wanna get at least six of these to put around the my front porch. Um, and it's these, um, they're stakes, they're, they're, they're solar lights. And you know, I thought, hey, this is kind of cheesy looking. It looks, you know, a little cheapy, but it's gonna be stuck in the yard. So who cares? So I wanted to put like, a, you know, a little row of them and I only had bought two just to see how they worked in case they were, you know, not gonna work. So the two that I did buy were absolutely marvelous. So I went back and I could only find one. So I had three. So on this haul that I just did, um, I guess they were getting rid of all their 4th of July and seasonal things in that category. And I had a few out and I grabbed up three more. So now I have a total of six of these. However, I couldn't resist <laughs> when I saw a different solar light in the kind of patriotic theme. And it looks a little bit um, heavier, nicer. It's got this little crystal-like thing going on. It's got improved quality. You know, you have your solar part going here. And I mean, a dollar. I, I, I'm just blown away. These things, you can use them and use them and use them, and it's $1. I mean, and even if I paid $6, if you buy a set of 10, it could be like $19.99 sometimes at Big Lots, or, or if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you're gonna pay a lot more. But now, I had to have these. Now these, I only have two or three of them. I can't remember, I just only put one out for this haul but I'm gonna put them in a, a, nif a different area on the side of my house. But yeah, um, solar lights, they're awesome. They're made by the Greenbrier um, brand that we are gonna be talking about a lot today because that is the Dollar Tree um, people who do most of the Dollar Tree items. But uh, I haven't actually put these out and used it. As you can see, it still has a little tab on it, but I have used these. I know that they're worth it. Um, and the best thing about it is they have different ones, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So that was a great find, and I'm very happy about that. Then um, they also had this, which I thought was so cute. Um, it's that I figured out what it is. I asked my mother again, what is this metal called? And it's galvanized metal. And um, hooray, USA. And it's thick. It's got this um, rope kind of string hanging up. You know, it's made also by the Greenbrier brand. Um, and you know, it's heavy. I mean, this is, this is really heavy and it's thick. So I will be putting this out, probably hanging on a door or something like that. And I'll use it all the way up till Labor Day and then I'll pack it away with all my patriotic um, theme kind of things for seasonal for until the next year. Um, but this $1, um, guys, blows me away. But that's not the least of it. So here we go. I have found <laughs> these fans are awesome. Because what I'm going to do with them, I'm actually going to hang them up in on my window. I have some windows right up in my front of my kitchen. Um, a lot of sets of them and I'm going to hang them into the window and make them like little decorations. But also, guys, you can use it because it gets hot. 
and it's been hot. You know, it's been in the 90s this week. So, yeah, $1. This is also um, made by the Greenbrier brand. Um, but, yeah, very, very thick. You know, it's not cheap. It's got um, weight to it. And I didn't have buy just one. I bought two. And I actually wanted to buy another one because it would actually look good in my windows because the way they, they're set up. Uh, you had to have those. And then, um, if you saw my last haul, which I hope you did, and come back again after this one as well, um, I had talked about, <laughs> in my video, it was a hot mess, but I talked, what I was trying to tell you that I had given away to Goodwill were these little baskets. Um, and then I had the, the tissues that you lay on there, which um, the ones I had were, you know, older and longer. Um, these are a little bit shorter. Excuse me, it's upside down. But they're, they're called deli baskets. So there you go. You can put um, anything you want into it. But what I'm planning on doing is especially like probably at Labor Day, I'll probably put the tissue in there. And then I'll probably make homemade chips and probably little sliders. And then another time I'll probably do chili dogs or with coleslaw and, and a corn on the cob. And it's just festive. It's decorative. Guys, you get four in this pack. So that's a quarter a piece. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with it. So if you have, you know, family gatherings, it's a quick throw the tissue away and rinse this out with some water and let it dry out and put it away till the next time. So this, I did buy them. And what's so funny is I did not give the other ones away. They just mysteriously gravitated to another part of the house. Um, and someone said, dear, here's your baskets. And I'm like, oh, there they are. I thought I had given them away to Goodwill. But now I know I didn't. But these are new and they're red and I love them. And I think they're a great deal for $1. And then um, this was just a crazy kind of buy. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I have some ideas um, what I want to do with it. But it was a dollar. I have not seen this before. Um, maybe you've seen it in other people's hauls, but I couldn't resist <laughs> buying this shovel. And the, this, the camera's not doing it justice. It's probably about, I'd say about two and a half, three foot, probably thick little shovel. Um, a dollar. I mean, you know, how, they come up with so many creative things. And I know this might seem frivolous, but I have some um, ideas I'm not gonna say on camera what exactly I'm gonna use this for, but I will say the word dogs, okay? One dollar, it's also made by the Greenbrier brand. And if you are buying it for children, it does say 18 months and above, but I'm gonna use it for some many different things. One dollar, love it. And then here is one of the things that, again, makes me do these Dollar Tree hauls. I'm blown away. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm shocked. And, and, and you may not be into the seasonal things. And, and then when we get on to the other categories, it might be more, more your thing. But for me, things like this make me continue to go. And I get excited. And I'm like, if I had tried to buy this anywhere else, it would never be close to $1. And it is my last patriotic theme. And I'll go into another seasonal theme after this one. But guys, I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the camera. It's almost like humongous. I, I'm gonna try to do this slowly. I don't know how it's even looking. I don't know if there's a reflection. I don't have a clue, but it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. Um, this is a yard sign. Um, six pieces um it says proud and true i wish i would have gotten this at fourth of july and um, memorial day but it will be going in my yard for um, up to labor day uh one dollar I, I i don't even know if it's doing it justice i'm going to try to turn it this way i don't even know how this is coming to look on the screen but yes it is one dollar. Um, it kind of gives you, you know, well, actually right here, it shows you the different um, things, the flag. Um, it's got the prowl thing with the sticks that, that stick into the ground and the and sign um, symbol. And then the true, and I, I, I mean, the little uh, twirly little thing. I don't know what that's called. I'm thinking that's maybe like a firecracker. I don't really know. I don't really care. 
um, but it's wonderful. And I was trying to see, was it made by the Greenbrier brand as well? And it doesn't, no, it's by the AMSCAM. No wonder that A, it's A-M-S-C-A-N. And that brand, I, I, I don't have no clue if this is doing it justice, but wow, one dollar. And I had just went crazy when I saw it because this is, right up my alley. So yeah, this was one of my fantastic finds for the week. All right, so that pretty much wraps up that type of theme for patriotic and symbol, uh, seasonal areas. So I'm going into another seasonal area, which is going to be summer. Now it is July, you know, August is right around the corner. Um, I wanted to kind of get some things in that I got for summer that, you know, before summer actually comes to an end and some of it's frivolous, some of it I'm definitely gonna use. Um, I'll start off with something that I definitely will be using and have used. This is just a, a, some more of the ones that I've already had. And it it's these citronella sticks, okay? Um, every time I see these um, for a dollar, I mean, I grab them up because I stick them out in the yard and I keep the mosquitoes away. Um, it does say it's a spiral citronella candle. It's distributed by Green Bar International. Now I will tell you this, they do keep the mosquitoes away. Um, they burn and they have a kind of a, a smell when it first starts. And you know, this is just a plastic covering when you take it off, it's just, it's just a clear citronella, citronella color, like a beige, like a off white, but it burns pretty fast and it'll go all the way, you know, pretty down, and then it'll stop kind of doing its thing. But not one, but two of these I bought because, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. I, I use it. It's a benefit for me, and it keeps the bugs away. One dollar. You cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. Okay, so with that part of a summer theme and we're talking about citronella, citronella candles to ward off bugs. I also found this um, torch fuel, okay? It's, um, how many ounces does this? It's seven fluid ounces. It's by Luau Time, or yeah, Luau Time. Um, it's basically what you put in the little torches, okay? So if you know anything about the Dollar Tree, you've ever shopped there over the years, it's very strange. They'll have stuff like this, but they won't have the torches. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy some good torches and use them and use them, use them because the ones at the Dollar Tree can be on the flimsy side. So $1, I mean, you know, it's a small bottle. It's only, um, you know, seven fluid ounces. However, guys, this is gonna show you, I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Um, it's made by the by HOC Industries Incorporated um, in Wichita, Wichita, Kansas. But regardless, it's worth $1. And I picked up a few of them because I knew, you know, I would use them and they'll be worth it. So on that note, and I'll come back in a minute when I tell you what I found, um, I'm gonna go on to another awesome find that I had saw for summertime and it's this little gem right here. It is a little dispenser and they come in different colors. Um, I have a blue one, I have a red one, and I have this pink one. The reason why I don't have the other two here to show you is because they're in my refrigerator. One's got water in it and one has my sweet tea in it. And guys, it's awesome. It works. You, you put your water in there. You have your little dispenser. <laughs> it's $1. It is made by the Greenbrier brand. Um, I use the, I had the pink one and the red one look almost about the same color. They're a little bit, one's a little bit darker. It's almost like a fuchsia. This one's a pink one. Um, we had a baby shower at my job and um, we put them out with some um, punch. And it was the cutest little thing because she was having a little baby girl. One dollar. I mean, you can't beat this stuff. It's awesome. So this is um, going into my summer things. And with that said, everybody needs to have one of these. <laughs> 
a hunk holder. Um, I took this on a vacation that I took um, going out to Gatlinburg recently and um, put my drink in it and blew it up. And yes, it was a little hunk man and he held my drinks and it was cute and it was $1 and it was one of those fun things that you know you just wanna have. Um, it was a, a good talking piece if nothing else. And I love it. I'm so happy I got it. And it, it stayed, you know, blew up and I actually just flattened it back out and stuck it back in the box and I will use it again. Um, it is also made by the, um, it doesn't say, it's made by uh, now, oh, excuse me, NPW London. Okay, NPW London, that's a new one. Um, oh, right here, it's got it here, NPW. Okay, had to have it. It says, hold your drink in the pool or the hot tub, because that's where we were at with it. Okay, and that's that. So, got these two babies. Um, I'll show you the first one, and then I'll show you the second one, because they come with like little, when you go in the Dollar Tree, they have a whole um, line of, of summer things just laid out, and they have them in the different colors and the different themes, and... <laughs> What on earth would I ever put in this major, huge cup? But I tell you what, it is by the Greenbrier brand. Um, it says, this one says Summer Vibes. It has this little spout straw. <laughs> and guys, um, I put my ice water in it. Um, I'm a, I love seltzer water with lemon. I'll put that in there. I'll put um, Gatorade sometimes. It just depends. You know, I don't put a lot of, I don't put anything like soda or anything like that because it would go flat but mostly it's for water, but also it's mostly for decorations because I set things out and I just had to have it. It was one of those things I just had to have. And the only other thing I bought to complement it was this um, matching dish drying mat. Now it has the same kind of thing with the pineapples, the kiwi, the, um, I believe that's lemons and leaves and all that good stuff flowers and it has the same little thing and i'm not going to pull this apart i have several of these um i color coordinate a lot of things but what i'll use it if i want some teal colors but it also has the matching um kiwi the the flowers um the pineapples and i will put that out um you know around in summertime and you can reuse it and it comes in handy when you're trying to do your dishes when you just have a few little things that you just want to hurry up and dry real quick whip these out open them up and yeah one dollar it's also made by home collections and um that is a green bar international incorporated yeah but it's home collections and i've used these for years and for one dollar they're they're fun so i got this set you know i'm couldn't just be at, be with one. They had about four or five different designs, but these two were one of the ones that I just had to have, loved to have, it was awesome. But I also came up and saw this one. Actually, my mother showed me this one after the fact and I couldn't decide, so I just said, you know what? I'm gonna get them both. It's just a hot pink one with your flamingo, which if you know me, I love flamingos. And this one says tropical life. And it always makes me think I'm on vacation when I drink my water in it or my seltzer or whatever. And it also had the um, matching mat in the hot pink with the flamingos on it. And yeah, had to have these. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, I will use these every summer. They're thick. I mean, this sucker is huge. This is two hands, it's a good foot long. And it's deep and it's and it's good. Now the lid comes on, you know, it's a little flimsy here and there, but I'm telling you, um, yeah, it's 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 huge. This camera is not doing it justice by no means. So continuing on with the flamingo theme, um, I had several other little fun things I wanted to show you guys. And um, I tell you, I don't buy a lot of things like this, but if it's something that's um, just I've never seen before, I know in, if you do shop the Dollar Tree, if you want something, you might as well go ahead and pick it up right then and there, because if you don't, um, it will not be there after the fact. I mean, they go, it goes quick. Things are not always there. And then a lot of things that I'm gonna be showing you also may have been in other halls for other people that they've done months or even years back. They'll put them back out and rotate them out and then I'll say, oh, well, there's something I had wanted back in the day and couldn't find it. 
and then now I found, you know, lucked up and found it. So, with the solar lights, they have the flamingo one. Now, I do not have but one of these, and I only got it to put in one area in my garden. One of my um, garden was my flowers. Um, I don't know about this one particularly working, but I do know I had bought some with hummingbirds used them all summer I was from spring to summer this year they were wonderful they were really cute then the guy come and cut the grass and he kind of you know chipped them up a little bit i kind of was bummed out because i you know wanted them and i liked them but um i only tr got i always try one of them I, i'm assuming they'll be just like the patriotic ones but you know i didn't want a whole bunch of them i just wanted to have a little flamingo in my yard it kind of reminds me of florida because i love Florida and I will be trying this out. It also is made by the Greenbrier Mall, I mean Greenbrier um, industry. And then these are some cute little things that I also <laughs> had to have. Um, these are, I'm going to use them in a, a theme party that I'm going to be doing in the near future. And you know, I haven't turned them on. Um, I, it wouldn't do justice to do it right now because it's not going to probably show up, but they light up and I'm gonna have them sitting in, in some um, punch and hopefully it'll be like a little luau kind of party. Um, we'll see how it goes and if it's worth videoing, I will video it and show you guys in the near future. And one more of these was a pineapple. I only got one because I just wanted to throw it in with that um, in the, the luau punch and I think it'll be pretty cute. Um, had to have that. Um, now I want to show you something else that just blew me away. Um, I'm not going to open it up, or maybe I will open it up. I thought I had one open. I'm pretty sure I did have one open, but um, it makes so much noise. But guys, this is a food tent. Um, it's made by Cooking Concepts, which is pretty much through, you know all over the Dollar Tree with their cooking areas. Um, but it's one of those um, umbrella um, items that goes over your food when you put it outside to keep the bugs and the flies and all that stuff out of it and just keep it clean and, and, and sanitable. Um, I want to open one up. I guess I will. It wouldn't hurt to do it. I actually have two of them. I have a blue one, a, a turquoise looking one, and a fuchsia one. And I'm sure I have another. It's either fuchsia or or maybe it's another blue one that I've already opened up and, and they're humongous. I mean, when I saw these, um, I was like, wow. So let me go ahead and just open this up. It's called a food tent and it's 17 inches by 17 inches. And I mean, that's, it. it's huge. I don't, again, know, and I hate for the loud noise that this is making as I'm opening this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I kind of want you to see what this Dollar Tree is doing with these products that they're making. Um, and how awesome they are. Um, this has like a little um, pop thing that's real sturdy. And I know it's not doing justice. I, I mean, I just know it's not. It's just, I'm all over the place. And it is huge and it will sit over, you know, it could go over a crock pot. It could go over, um, you know, a pan of hot dogs that you have sitting out if you don't have them on foil. It could go over lettuce and tomatoes, your condiments. I mean, it's one dollar. And I mean, it is awesome. It has a little thing right here that you can pick it up so you don't even have to touch it. And I absolutely, positively adore it. And then you just close it down, you pop it back together, and we'll be sticking it back in the little package and we'll be using it the next time. So this is an awesome buy for a dollar. You can't beat it. I am so thrilled to have it. Um, I, again, don't know how it looked on camera, but it is huge. I mean, it's really worth purchasing if you do a lot of outdoor cooking and having barbecues and, you know, you just decide you're gonna eat out in your on your patio or whatever. It keeps things out of your food. Um, then I'm gonna go on on that works since we're talking about bugs, I bought a dual pack. It came together. I've already opened it up, so I don't have the little thing on it. I know it's made by the Greenbrier um, brand. Um, they had different um, designs, but I like the butterfly ones. And you know, uh, when you start having animals and it gets to be summertime, hot, 
there's flying things everywhere and sometimes it's very annoying. I, I don't think I've had a fly swatter and I can't tell you how long. Um, and I would pass it up every single time and then it just got to the point I said, you know what, the next time I see these and since they come in two, I have one, you know, in one area and one in the other so I can grab them real quick if I need to. Um, I don't have a lot of flies, but I do not like flies and I don't want flies. So I always try to stay, keep them out, keep them away, but sometimes it's impossible. So yeah, this was a great buy. So basically it's like 50 cents a piece. Again, I've already opened it up and I have already used them because flies are crazy. Then I have another fun item. Um, I'm still in seasonal, but I do want to tell you I have an uh, Sometimes I'll buy like certain things for um, kids at my our Sunday school um, to give out as gifts or prizes. And here was something that I thought, wow, this is a dollar you know I'm gonna buy this because it looks like something that I would want to do especially if I was a young kid and it is a, a bubble fun flying disc with the dipping tray they had them in different colors and I'm, I am mad at myself because I didn't buy each color they had lime green they had orange i think they had a blue if i'm not mistaken it might not have been a blue but it was i think four different colors this thing is huge i mean does it even say how big it is oh yeah there we go it's 29 centimeters by 29 centimeters i mean it is a flying disc that you know grown people can use adults can use this children i know will love this and when i was showing it to someone they were like wow you should have got a bunch of them because for a dollar and again, these are also made by the Greenbrier brand and it's bubble fun. It does say four years and up. And of course the uh, bubbles, did, the uh, bubble mixture did not come with it. Now some people make their own bubble mixture, but um, you know, it doesn't always turn out the grip best. I have not um, demonstrated this or tried it, but if I get a chance to, to do it, maybe I can do it on film and, and put it on video and show you guys how it turns out. But if you know the thing about the Dollar Tree, they have the big old bottles of bubbles. And I mean, this is a big one. It's as big as my head. It's huge and it's heavy. And they had every single color you can imagine. Um, I don't, I don't know, you know, why I picked pink. I just wanted it to go with this one. And I, I think this is a great find, a dollar a piece. If I decide to use it for one of our our backyard barbecues or events or whatever, or I will wrap it up and give it to some kid who would have fun with it. So yeah, a dollar for this big old huge flying disc and the bubbles for $2, you can have a whole lot of fun. So remember I had brought out the torch um, stuff for torches. And I said, you know, you usually find this, but you don't find the torches. And so I had always looked up and found these citronella candles. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go buy some real torch, real um, torch, tiki torches at Lowe's or whatever and spend a fortune or Walmart or wherever I decide to buy it at. And the same day I said that, I literally walked into um, one of the Dollar Trees that I go to by my home and guys, Look at this. They're tabletop tiki torches. So they don't even have to go in the ground. They can sit on your table. I'm not, I don't have a table right in front of me or I'd sit this down, but I'm trying to do it on camera so you can see it. It is heavy. It's a, it's made out of actual wood. Um, it's got the little warning thing on here. I mean, it's got the little tiki thing. You, t you know, you take it out and you put in your torch fluid and one dollar it's one dollar it's also made by um garden concepts which you know that's kind of like the cooking concepts just distributed by the green bar brand um so again they always have different colors so i had to get each color i can and also there's another one that fell on the floor that's a lime green so basically i have lime green yellow blue and pink. Four of these tiki torches that can fit on the tables. We can put the tiki torch, torch fluid in it and keep 
the bugs away. Guys, it's one dollar. I mean, I even if I spent ten dollars on three of these and four dollars on one of these is a dollar a piece, it's still not ten dollars. And you can't even buy a real nice tea torch um, for ten dollars. You're not you're not gonna do it. If you find them, please let me know. This is one of my. I mean, it's crazy. Summertime is getting used and it's, it's this is great. This is gonna help us out a whole lot. So I'm getting close to the end. Um, I do have one more seasonal thing that I do wanna show. Um, it's kinda of going along with a the theme I was trying to do with a little party I'm gonna to put together. Um, I was actually gonna put it up and, and do my background in it, but I may do that in the future after we have the party. And it's this um, photo backdrop, which basically for $1, this is a photo thing that you can put on your wall. It lays out and you can to do photo booth pictures at your event. One dollar. Now, I will tell you these. I, this, I have bought these over the years. Um, I've bought them for all different types of things and they're worth it. Um, they're, they're very visual. They're very durable and they last. And sometimes I'll even use them and then wrap them up and put them up. And then, you know, when some kind, somebody says, do you have a thing for this thing or that thing? I'll go hunt down my little boxes and pull them out. This is $1 and, it, and they're huge. Um, I will try to do um, a demonstration with it when I, when I pull, put it up eventually in the near future, hopefully. And we'll see and show you how big it is. And it's $1. And for the luau theme, you couldn't beat it, okay? So, uh, moving on to the next category um, is gonna be food. I didn't get a lot of food, and I never really get a lot of food at the Dollar Tree because it's just kind of hit or miss. But I will tell you the certain things that I do buy because we use it. And if I see something that's an awesome, awesome buy, I'm going to I'm gonna snap it up because you're not gonna see it again. One of the things that I get all the time I go there is the Vigo, I think it's called, or V-I-G-O rice, yellow rice. My kids love it, I love it. I make, I make it with the, this, I have a burrito dish I make. I make it with chicken and rice. You know, we have pork chops and, and rice. I might make some um, Puerto Rican rice and put, um, you know, sofrito, if you know anything about that kind of stuff. Um, I'll make it up and this is a dollar. Usually I'll buy two. You can buy them maybe at the at Kroger or Publix or wherever you shop at. Um, the family pack's a little bit cheaper, but when I see these, I will pick them up because we go through them quite fast and I always have this on hand. It is a wonderful product. It's delicious, it's easy to make. It's authentic Spanish recipe with the yellow rice. Um, and it's, you know, not the family um, size, it's nine ounces but it's a good brand and I use it and I can honestly say it's really good. I also snap these up every time I go to the Dollar Tree. Um, it's these black olives. Um, they're not sliced, so you, I do have to slice them, you know, and, and uh, make them smaller and I put them in different containers. But when I buy these, because when you open them, you need to use them, I'll do different things. Like I'll make homemade pizzas or I will put it on a Caesar wrap or I'll mix it in. I love the Olive Garden um, knockoff, which I have some salad dressing from another uh, time I bought it. If I find it, I'll, I'll let you know. If I see it again, I'm gonna haul it. Um, it's like Olive Garden little caps that you, um, of salad, of the salad dressing, and you have three servings in it. But I will mix up and make me a mock um, Olive Garden salad with all the fixings. And for a dollar, it's well worth it. If you see these around in, in the grocery stores, um, a small can could be like a dollar fifty, so this is worth the dollar for sure. Then, here's something that um, blew my mind when I saw it. Um, it was like it's basically a 28 ounce can of enchilada sauce. Um, it's a huge can. Um, it's a name brand, Las Palomas. Um, I've used it. I, I used to buy it all the time at Kroger. Um, I make enchilada pies. I use it on my burrito dishes that I make. I mean, you can, if you use enchilada sauce, it's $1. I mean, it's worth it. You can store it. Um, I do look at all the dates. This one actually goes to July 9th of 2022. So yeah, always check your dates, but you know, 
90% of the time that all their stuff is way out at least six months on. Um, if it's not, you know, you don't probably need to buy it um, unless you're going to eat it like right then and there. But yeah, this $1, I snap them up and it got to the point where I, I was buying like two of these at a time because they can be pricey at other places for smaller cans. But this one right here um, is 28 ounces and I use them a lot. And the last food item that I have, um, I don't buy these a lot because I can't eat them as fast as other things. But if I'm making a dish like um, nachos for the family, um, and I know people are going to be, um, you know, using them for that reason, I'll grab these up because these are delicious. These are whole jalapeno peppers. Um, they're made by um, Clementine. This is a 10 ounce can and it has a pop top and, you know, they do last in the refrigerator for a minute, but you need to eat them pretty quick. And they're they're not too hot. They're they're on the the mild side, but this is a huge can. I mean, a huge can of jalapenos. So if you know people who love jalapeno peppers, this is a great buy. So I highly suggest this. All right. Last but not least, we're going into um, I guess it would be like the storage basket category. I said it in my last haul, Dollar Tree is the place for basket storages, bins, cubes, anything you can think of. And um, I do buy them because I have stuff and I like to organize and I like things to be in a place. And when I go to find something, I want to be able to grab it and know what's in it. So um, I have a few of those right here. Um, this first one is these three packs of little trays. Um, I put them in my drawers. They come in every color you can imagine. I know I have some red ones and some black ones, but there's three of them in here and you can put pencils, you can put makeup brushes, you can put your toothpaste. Um, it, it's, it, it goes on and on and on. Um, I grab these up probably once or twice a year. Um, I don't try to buy them all the time. They're not the, the sturdiest. They're kind of on the flimsier side. However, there's three of them. And if you're sticking them in a drawer to stick something in there to keep them from rolling around, they're awesome. For $1, you know, you get three of them. It's a three pack. It is made by the Greenbrier brand, of course. It's called a basket planner. And um, yeah, this is awesome. I highly recommend you getting that. Then um, if you, um, just need a pail or a bucket to wash your car or wash your dogs or wash your floor uh why pay anything more than a buck for it this is actually a very um strong pail it's not flimsy it's not um it will fill up and, and hold it has a great handle on it i have a black one and a gray one um the reason why i i buy these is because you never know um, there was times that I needed things like this and I never had it. So I was grabbing my drinking pictures for my tea or, or Kool-Aid or whatever we were doing. And I was using them for things and then they would get all nasty and I wouldn't want to use them anymore. And I'd have to wind up buying them again. And those are not a dollar. Um, this thing right here is also made by Greenbrier brand. Um, it's a great buy. Um, I don't know the many uses that I can do it. I, I usually put all my um, car wash things in it and store it away. And then when I need one, I have it. It's $1. It's a great little item. And yeah, I highly recommend you getting that. So again, I'm a, a organizer. I like to store things. Um, when I saw these right here, I um, was like another, here we go, awesome kind of thing. And I have to have them because I know exactly what I want to do with them. Um, I have a shelf that has different sections in it, and I bought these um, little boxes, cubes. They're made by the Greenbrier brand. Um, why I bought these is because of this right here. It's a dry erase. So if I want to change out things, you know how you write something on something and it's permanent and it's just ruined and you might have to scratch it out and it just looks horrible? Uh, no, this is dry erase and it marks off and on, and you can actually write it on there. Um, and I thought that this was like something underneath it, it neat it. It's not, you just basically write on the box. However, um, they had these little bad boys. These are dry erase labels by Jot, J-O-T, big, big brand at the Dollar Tree. 
Um, it does have only eight sheets, but you know, if it's dry erase and you can use them over and over again, that's great. I will be putting these on these cubes and I will be putting things in them and I can pull them in and out of the shelf that I'm gonna do. And of course I had to have several of them. I picked red because that's just the theme I wanted to go with, but they had them in black, navy blue, turquoise, pink, you name it, they have the colors there because I'm telling you guys, the Dollar Tree, if you need buckets, storage storage things, uh, cubes, um, anything like this, it's it's well worth it. And this right here is is wonderful. These are also made by the Green Brand, I mean by the Jot Brand, excuse me, and they will go in these with that and I'll just have to get some dry erase markers. I do have a few of them, but they're a little bit dried out. So that'll be something I'll be looking for. So. Coming towards the end of this, I have no idea how long it is. Oh my goodness, it seems like it's going on forever. I've got to get better with this. Um, is the household um, miscellaneous type stuff. And I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. Um, one of the things that um, my daughter, who's having a baby shower, requested, she wanted me to get some skewers. Um, this is actually 100 pieces. It's made by the Cooking Concepts, a um, hundred of these for one dollar. And she's gonna use them for her chocolate fountain where she's gonna have um, different things that she's gonna stick in. Now they are pretty long. I don't know if we're gonna cut these in half. I don't know how she wants to do it. But you know, you can do uh, kebabs, you can put corn on the cob, you can make things. You could use this for a craft if you wanted to. Um, I see these all the time. I never had a reason to buy them before, but I mean, even if we don't use all of them, I will use these for different things. It's one dollar for a hundred pieces, um, and they're called bamboo sco skewers. A hundred pieces, guys. That's so worth it. So um, then I went on to get um, this. Kind of caught my eye. I mean, it is a tiny little. Um, I mean, you, know, you put your warm water in there and you put it on your head, like when you're you're not feeling well. But I had not seen it there, and, and they say it's an ice pack, but you can put ice in there and you can also make it where it can be hot because it is um, a thermal, thermal kind of thing for that, insulated. Um, it's reusable. Um, it says it soothes bruises, swelling, soreness, and pain. Um, and it's made by the Assured brand. I, I like the Assured brand. It's, you know, I've used it. I, I I'm, have good results with it. Um, I will be putting this in my um, medical or, you know, medicine bags that I keep. And, um, yeah, I had to have that. That was a, a wish on my wish list to get this, and I had not seen it. Um, yeah, it comes in a few different colors. I think they had, like, black, and I think they had gray, if I'm not mistaken. But I wanted a color like this. And then, on going to that thing, on little wish list. Look at this, guys. These are little fans, little tiny fans, and it may not be something you even are interested in, but these come in handy when you are sitting there burning up and you can't get to the air to turn it up or you don't want to because your um, air conditioner bill is going to go up the roof. Um, it does make a little bit of a, a kind of a noise to it when it's sitting there. Let me see if it does. Yeah, it still does it when you're sitting on the table. But the point is, is it works. I mean, I, I'm literally feeling this and it feels really good because I'm getting hot. And I'm like, this is going on way too long. I need to get through with this video. But you do have to put your own batteries in it. It does take two uh, AA batteries. But it's worth it for $1. And um, it's also made by the Greenbrier brand. Um, I did... Uh, already used the little lime green one but um yeah this is one of my wish list items and i will use this over and over through this whole summer i have one on my bathroom when i'm putting on makeup and i also have one where i sit down and watch tv and sometimes i just pick it up and you know if i get too hot i'm like hey yeah i also would like to get one for my work um or i might take one of these but for one dollar how cute is this how cute they had different colors i think they had the yellow peach um this lime green and of course that lilac 
All right, here's another um, thing that I had asked, I had wanted to, it's like a wish list. And if you know what, if you don't know what a wish list is, that's basically some item that you really think you have to have, um, but you don't really see, but a few of them because they sell out so fast. Because if you tried to buy them anywhere else, um, they would not be a dollar. And it's this thing right here. It's just a little light, <laughs> but it has fairy lights in it. And um, I'm not gonna pull out the tab, or maybe I will for this. Let's see if it'll work on, on here and show. It's see if it'll work. Yeah, you can't really tell because it's it's too light, but the lights are on, but it's when it's dark, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it has the fairy lights in there. You hang it up like this, and I've got um, ideas of what to do with it, um, and I had been wanting these ever since I saw them. It comes in different colors. I got one um, in the gold, and then they also had silver. Um, I actually got two of the silver, and I'm still hunting for another gold one because I have something I want to do um, as far as decoration. But for four bucks, once I get the other one, because I know I'll find one, I'm on the hunt. Um, it's awesome. These also, I believe, let me make sure they're by Green Bar before I say they are. Yeah, they're, they're by the Green Bar Corporation International and um, they're LED hanging lamps, and they're just adorable. And when I saw them, and I saw them in a haul, I said, oh, I've got to get my hands on them. And the fairy lights, when it's night, and you see them, it's, they're just gorgeous. I mean, and it's $1. I, I don't know, it, again, it's just one of those things that wows me. Um, one of the other things I wanna go into before I show you a uh, last few um, miscellaneous wish list items is a couple of household items. I had forgot about them, actually. Um, they're um, not a few. It's just a few things that I picked up, but it's something worth notating because it's stuff that I use and it's something I'm actually going to try out for my next video, and we'll see how it works. But um, first, I tell you, one of the great things that I love about the Dollar Tree is these Curad alcohol prep wipes. I mean, they come in, there. there's about... Is it 100? Yes, 100. Um, and I buy these every time I see them. And they go, they come and go. Um, but when I see them, I'll buy several of them and I'll keep them and I'll put them in different places. Because every time, um, if you need uh, to clean a boo-boo or if you, you know, just want to keep your hands and put some alcohol in to sanitize, if you don't have any sanitizer, they come in little packs like this. You can keep them in your purse. You can keep them in your desk. I mean, it's a curate. It's a name brand. Um, I love them. They're pure alcohol, alcohol wipes, and Best Buy, when I find these, I just love these. I mean, I, I've been using these for a long time, and I, I hate when I run out, so I don't run out. I always make sure I pick up a few when I see them, because like I said, they're not always there. Then, um, something like what I've got in my hair now is this 18-pack of little uh, rubber bands. They're not the um, the... I don't know what that is. It's not the harder material. These are actually really soft. And the reason why I like these is because they don't pull out my hair. They hold. You get 18 of them. I mean, these are have saved my life because when I get really super hot, I have to pull up my hair. Like today, it's been like in the 90s. So I'm like, I wanted to let you know that this is a great deal for anybody who has long hair that just wants to pull it up. It's up in your hair. It holds it up and it's not gonna pull and snatch or tangle. And you get 18 of these ponytail holders and they're also distributed by the Greenbrier brand, made in the USA, okay, that's what it says. All right, then I wanna show you these last two um, things and we're gonna wrap this Dollar Tree haul up and if you've been hanging on this long, bless your heart. And I do appreciate it, like and subscribe, okay. So, here is another thing that I had bought. Every time I see them, I buy them. It's the Garnet um, Pure Clean Dry Shampoo. I've tried a lot of different dry shampoos um, over the years, and, and these are lifesavers when, you know, you just get up late, you overslept, or you just do not feel like, you know, after you take a shower, you just don't wanna do the whole blow dry and, and washing the hair thing. This right here, doesn't have a scent. I think it says uh, no scent. Yeah, no scent. Um, no, it actually says instant fresh feel. It's a refresh scent, I guess. But I put it up in my scalp, and I, if I don't have time to wash my hair when I'm going to work or whatever, 
and it doesn't leave the residue. Um, if you shake up the can, it's not going to be all white because some of them come out real white. And you and you comb through it, and it feels like you've just done the whole wash and, and blow dry and conditioner and everything. Um, One dollar, and this is Garnet. This Garnet, yeah, this is a brand name product. Swipe them up every single time I see them because I use them all the time and I love it So here's something that I will be trying on my next haul and I'll let you know um, I am getting some little grays here and there um, And I do color my hair um, Often but sometimes it gets to a point where I don't color it as fast as it needs to be and I found this um, it's called The brunette I guess that's the name of it is s g x n y c um, salon and it's 6.5 ounces but the main thing reason why I bought that is also a dry shampoo but it has a tint to it so I purposely let my hair get a little bit out with the gray um, so I could try this for the next time and hopefully when I try it I can say hey this worked or it didn't work um, because it's supposed to like put a little small tint of color in your hair and I'm gonna check it out and see. It's a pretty big can. Um, again, I don't know if it's you know a good product yet because I have not used it, but it looks like it's you know good packaging and um, we'll see on our next haul. So I got a few more items, two more to be exact. Um, it's another basket, um, I am a basket, fe basket fiend, but I bought this basket and I will be using it to put um, toiletries in or maybe magazines, I don't know. It's a gray and it's pretty big. It's made by Greenbrier, of course. Um, I have not seen another one. Actually, I did see, I've seen other people haul them and there was like a peachy one and I think, a, a, I wanna say it was a white one, but I'm not quite sure. But I wanted the peachy one and I wanted a gray one for the themes for, for my house. But it's not doing it a lot of justice, but it's $1. And it's another one of them things that you know I will use and I will use for years and years and years and it's pretty sturdy and it's you know I probably could even use this taking things out in a purse if I wanted to go to a picnic and put some food in it but it's pretty cool and then my very very last I thought it was my last item but I actually have one more after that is another one of these um, metals that I couldn't think of the name on my last haul it's this galvanized um, floral garden wall base and um, I don't have anything in it yet, but it has the, the little, you know, string holding it up. It's heavy. Um, I'm gonna put some kind of plant uh, arrangement in it and peel this off, of course. And I've got some ideas of what I wanna do. Um, it's also made by Greenbrier. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just adorable. You put little things in it, it's deep inside there and yeah. I had to have it. This was one of my wish lists. It's a floral garden wall base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And last but not least, and thank you so much for hanging out in this longer video than the first one. I don't know what I'm doing here. Is Dollar Tree has sometimes these wood plaques and I know people haul them all the time. And, and this is one that I saw just randomly. And I said, I'm gonna get that because I'll never see it again. And it basically is wild at heart and it's pretty long and it's real heavy um, it's made by the Greenbrier brand and again this is what it's all about being wild at heart I will put this around the house and and I have several of these and I'll show them in different halls and as I get them um, yeah you cannot beat this. I mean, you could not buy this at Michael's for one dollar. You could not buy this at Hobby Lobby for one dollar. And you may say, why do I even want it? Well, you have to be wild at heart sometimes. And I appreciate you guys um, hanging in there. So until the next one, see ya.